Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Primal Liquid, and right now I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate curry in Disagaya 5. Okay, so first, what constitutes the ultimate curry? Well, it's what's going to give us the most damage and the most health. So what we're going to be looking at is how to get our crit up to 100%, and obviously how to get our HP into the billions. Now, this also will drastically increase the SP as well. But that's not really too important. Right now we're only looking at damage from the crit and all the extra HP. Okay, so we uh, make our own uh, curry. Now, obviously I'm using uh, lock items. Uh, you can use regular items, but uh, that will just give you much less health in turn. Okay, so main ingredient, you want an elixir. Sub ingredient, you want an elixir. And sub ingredient 2, you want an elixir. Okay, so that's going to be quite a large uh, pool of health for us. Now, let's work on our uh, crit chance. So, to get 100 crit, what you actually want is to throw in 100 thimbles. Now, these you can just buy from the uh, store. They are 40 HL each. So, you know, they're really cheap and uh, it's a really quick way of getting 100 crit. Okay, so now that we've got our 100 thimbles in, that basically gives us a 100 crit chance while the curry is active. But what about the billions of HP? Those three elixirs aren't going to be enough to give it us. Well, to get that, what you actually want to do is throw in even more elixirs with the thimbles in the other category. Okay, so once you've thrown in all your elixirs, you know, you can make the curry there. But obviously, you know, we want to make the curry even better. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, you need to upgrade the other's number. Basically, the higher that number, the higher the spicy meter, and the higher the spicy meter, the higher the actual XP, uh, sorry, the actual HP you get will be. So, we're just gonna really quickly uh, shoot that up now by chucking in pretty much anything and everything that we have. Uh, now, you know, I mean, as you can see, I'm just quite literally chucking everything I own in, apart from, you know, the odd few items here or there. Uh, okay, right, uh, don't want that Ultima Sen. Uh, make sure I've still got all of my, uh, unique items. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's, uh, that's fine, that's. Okay, so now that the curry multiplier is up to 806, we, uh, we want to make the curry. So, uh, pad button, curry completed, yeah, create curry. Okay, now... Obviously, you know, if we use this curry right away, we'd only get one use out of it, which, you know, what's the point in uh, doing that? Well, you can actually get more uses out of the curry. So as long as you don't eat the curry, you know, just back out of the menu. What you can actually do is if you go to the item world, then go into any item, you know, it really does not matter which one you want to go in. So, you know, just for the sake of this video, we'll just jump into the rank 40 Genesis wand. And what we'll do is uh, we'll quickly do a couple floors and then uh, we'll leave. Because what happens is while you're in the item world, basically every floor you complete adds an extra use to the curry. And that's basically aging the curry, if you will. And that's the game terms, not my term. It's actually called age curry. Okay, so uh, right now we'll do this as the last floor. Okay, so... Oh. Typical, you know, we get a mystery room. Okay, so that's floor five, so that means the curry should now be four days aged. So if we use a Gansy, okay, we jump out. Okay, now let's go check on that curry, shall we? Okay, and there we go, days aged, five days. So what that means is if I hit X on that now, that will give me five uses of that curry. But five seems a little low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly run through the item world a bunch. And then I will actually, uh, well for you guys it'll just be a short skip in the video. And I'm going to show you guys the effects of the curry in action once I've built up my actual usage multiplier a bit. So I will see you soon guys. Okay and we're back. So, uh, since the uh, little time skip for you guys, uh, well, basically for you guys, you know, it's been 2-3 seconds for me, it's been uh, about half an hour to an hour, and what I've done is, I've pretty much gone through two items in the item world, uh, from start to finish, I got the uh, rank 40 fist weapon, and I also went and got the uh, rank 40 sword. So, uh, let's take a look at how our curry is doing, shall we? Although, one thing to note is... 
there's a cap on the age limit. So unfortunately, you cannot go higher than 100 UCs, which, you know, to be fair, is a shame. Although, you know, it could be quite broken as well at the same time. You know, you could quite easily boost it up extremely high, you know, get a couple of thousand UCs and then just go plow through the item world on 20 stars and create some godly items super early. But okay, anyway, let's take a look at uh, the effect of it, shall we? So, remember how I was telling you guys, you know, about our 100 crate and, uh, you know, oh, a couple billion health? Well, let's take a look at that, shall we? But as you can see up at the top right there, 100 day duration, which basically means, you know, 100 clears of a map or 100 floors in the item world. Also, one thing to note is using the dive items does not boost the usage. That is one thing I actually just tried. But yeah, so uh, you cannot quickly boost this up to 100 by using a couple of dive items. It has to be manual clears, either by going through the portal or by actually killing the enemies. Basically, you need to see the bonus gauge. But uh, anyway, let's uh, take a look at it, shall we? And there we go. So as you can see, 100% crit on all the characters. And let's take a look at that, shall we? So that's 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million, 10 million, 100 million, and 1 billion. So that's 1.7 billion health on my Sage right there. So 1.7 billion. You know, that is shockingly huge amount. Now, obviously my Sage, you know, she was used for a large portion of the game. You know, she had 27 million, I think it was, or 2 point, uh, 270 million health uh, originally. So, uh, how about we take a look at a character who's never been used and see just how much health he got. So, that's... 1.4 billion. So, that's it, guys. You know, I mean, for how many elixirs I chucked in, you know, I'll, I'll admit, I don't know just how many I chucked in. But they have given me a 1.4 billion health increase. Now, obviously, you know, that is influenced by gear uh, and... Oh, I've lost it now. Uh, aptitudes. So, we're, you know, obviously the higher your aptitudes are, the higher your health will be. The higher your gear, the higher your health will be. But, you know, I mean, just imagine. So, you have 100 fimbles for the crit chance. You have three elixirs for the main ingredients. So that's 103 items, yeah? Which actually leaves 1,897 item slots that you can hold. What if you were to use all of them item slots as elixirs? How much health would you get out of that? Personally, I think that would most definitely cap you on the health. Although, let's just take a look at uh, roughly how good this will actually be with, uh, you know, full damage uh, abilities, basically. Okay, so, you know, it, it didn't change much, but, it's, you know, I mean, it's still a large amount. But, uh, anyway, yeah, guys, that's it for the ultimate curry guide. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps. And if it did, then please, by all means, hit that like button or leave a comment. But, uh, as always, guys, peace out.